My name's Dominic Liacani. Here's what the Aviators look like on opening night. Here's the starting nine for second-year manager Jamie Sailors. It starts with the center fielder, fielder Tanner Holland in the leadoff spot. He's followed by the catcher, Brooks Sailors. Tucker Platt, the first base mid hitting three. Josiah Miller, one of two returners in this lineup in the cleanup spot, the third baseman. Colton Schaller from Kent State batting fifth, playing right. Nate Bingman is the second baseman hitting sixth. And then seven, eight, nine, it's Cal Whip, the DH. Eli Hickman, the left fielder, and Jacob Daneman, the shortstop. They will see the right-handed arm of Scotty Edelman, the second-year paint, one of seven returning players for Chillicothe, the senior, the junior from Tiffin University. Made 13 appearances with a start at an 8-1-0 ERA and a 1-1 record. Gave up 14 earned runs and 20 complete innings pitch. Last summer, seven appearances out of Appearances out of the bullpen during the second half of the season. Adelman owned a 3-1-2 ERA. Holland climbs in from the right side in the first pitch from the funky arm slot of Adelman misses well out. 1-0. Here to Holland. The redshirt freshman from Central Arizona College goes after the next pitch. A chopper to the right side. The first baseman in Burdett takes it to the bag himself and beats Holland to the bag. One up and one down for Lafayette here in the first. Here's what the defense looks like for Chillicothe. Samuel Fabian is, is in center field. He's flanked by Alex Moneal to his left and Tyler Mendez to his right. Around the horn we go from left to right on the infield. Graham Solak, Alex Bemis, Alex Richter, and Clay Burdett. And then Cole Riley does the catching for Scotty Adelman. First pitch to Brooks Sailors is a high strike in there. Nothing in one to Brooks. The red shirt junior from Purdue Fort Wayne. A local kid from Brookston, Indiana, about 20 minutes north of here. Watch his ball one high. Sailors, one of seven returners for the Aviators this summer. Also the son of manager Jamie Sailors. Out of the windup, Adelman kicks and fires. This one is spoiled off foul, out of play left side. And it's quickly one and two here to Brooks Sailors. Hit 248 this spring, 27 hits in 109 at bats. 44 games, 36 of them starts for Brooks. The left handed hitting catcher watches a breaking ball that misses outside. Two and two to Brooks Sailors. Last summer, Brooks played in 22 games, hit 234, five RBIs, 13 runs scored. Mm -hmm. He slashes one hard and foul over the Aviator dugout and will stay put at two and two. One gone here in the bottom of inning number one. Three nothing Chillicothe here on opening night. The Aviator six and one on opening day. Lafayette has won its last four straight opening days. As Sailors goes down swinging on a gorgeous looking breaking ball from Adelman. Quickly two up and two down for the paints here in the bottom of the first. First strikeout of the evening as well for Adelman. 18 Ks to 13 walks this spring. For the junior from Tiffin University, a Division II school out of the GMAC. And now we'll see Tucker Plant for the first time as he squibs the first pitch foul behind home plate. Plant, the second year. Prospect leaguer was with the O'Fallon Hoots last summer. Hit 279 in 38 games with a couple of homers. Sweeping breaking ball from Adelman miss, misses well outside. Platt, the graduate from IU Kokomo, native of Logansport, Indiana. Again, a town not all too far from Lafayette. Goes after a low pitch and hacks through it. Quickly two strikes. One and two the count here to Tucker. Platt hit 349 with a 1096 OPS for IU Kokomo this spring. Lost a fly ball in the center. Right there is Fabian. He puts it away without any issue. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Scotty Adelman to start here in 2024. And the Aviators go down in order. We head to the second inning. Don't go anywhere. Paints up 3-0 here on Prospect League TV. My name's Dominic Liacani. Glad you're with us and our entire fantastic crew. Josiah Miller from the left side, one of two returners in the lineup for opening day. Watches one on the outside edge, called for a strike. Nothing in one to Josiah, who has about the best personality a baseball player could possibly have 
getting to know him for the first couple of days he's been in town. Watches one outside for a ball. The redshirt junior from Lee University played in 36 games last summer. Watches a fastball high. Quickly two balls and one strike the count. Miller slash 203, 365 and 314 with 24 hits and 188 at bats. Way out in front on the 2-1 and we're even at 2-2. Two two. Adelman out for his second inning of work. Played a pivotal role in the second half of the Paints Championship season last year. 2-2, two, two, that one is up the middle and into left center field for a base hit. Hard turn for Miller at first. He'll stay put with a leadoff single. And the Aviators have their first hit of the 2024 season. It comes from Old Reliable and one of seven returners here in 2024. Colton Schaller, the right fielder from Kent State, climbs in. left-handed hitting sophomore from Kent State bounces one to second could be two Richter Bemis on to first in time four six three double play and that Twitten killing will quickly put two outs on the scoreboard here in the bottom of inning number two so here's Bingman Nate Bingman, the second baseman from Parkland College, committed to the University of Illinois Springfield, watches one low for a ball. Bingman, the redshirt sophomore. Watches one away, 2-0. and Started his collegiate career at Virginia Military Institute. Bingman looks at the 2-0 in there for a strike. Quickly, two gone after... Colton Schaller bounced into a 4-6-3 double play for Lafayette. Wave and a miss from Bingman. On a pitch that looked above the letters. And it's 2-2. Two and two. It's three balls and two strikes. Bounce to the left side, charging in is Bemis, and high throw, but the tag applied by the first baseman, Burdett, and that'll do it for Lafayette here in the second. Adelman faces the minimum here on Prospect League TV. An opening day for the Aviators, who are 6-1 and one on opening night and have won the last four straight opening day contests, last year defeating the Paints 8-7 to seven on opening day. This is the third time in four seasons that these two teams have met on opening day as well. So an all too familiar foe for the Aviators. It's seven, eight, and nine for Lafayette. Cal with the DH stands in and watches one on the outside corner. Call for a strike, nothing in one to whip. The freshman from Pepperdine didn't see action in his true freshman season. The graduate of Santa Barbara High School and the native of Santa Barbara, California. He watches one in there for a called strike. The home plate umpire is Nicholas Sta behind the plate. Tony Mattaleone, senior, out in the field with able to check his swing. Actually, no, he's not the appeal down. Yes, he did, one and two, and the fastball misses high. Two-two. Upstairs, three balls and two strikes. Whip, Hickman, and Daneman, seven, eight, and nine for the Aviators here in the third. As Whiff golfs one the other way, but it's off the screen foul and will stay put at two and two. Adelman up to just 24 pitches here in the third. Shakes off his catcher, now gets what he likes. Here's the pitch, and Whiff gets jammed. But this cue shot rolls foul to the right of the first base bag, and we'll try it again.
Comes another 3-2 offering broken bat. That lumber almost caught the pitcher Adelman who had to dodge out of the way. Still able to make the play. Give the pitcher for Chillicothe a ton of credit. That's not an easy to play after a play, not an easy play to make after you see the wood flying at you. Seven up and technically seven down. As there's one gone here in the third. Adelman has faced the minimum so far as Hickman, the left fielder, strides in for her, his first at bat. First season with the Aviators, the senior from Concordia University in Chicago. Slow breaking ball in there for a strike. The 0 1. Chopped left side. The shortstop, Bemis, makes a four handed play and throws out Hickman at first. Two up and two down here in the third. So after two quick ground outs, it's Jacob Danham in the shortstop for Lafayette out of the nine spot. Still 3 0 Chillicothe here. Just one hit for Lafayette. First pitch to Danham in from Hanover College. He goes after one in the dirt and waves at a breaking ball downstairs for a strike. 0 1 to Danham in coming off of arguably one of his best collegiate seasons of his career. Goes after this pitch, it's looped in the left and down and one hops in front of the left fielder, Monell. And in with a two out single at first is Jacob Daneman. So the lineup turns over for the first time today. Here's Tanner Holland, the center fielder and commit to Rice University. Had a nice season with Central Arizona College hit 375 with a 464 on base percentage and a 417 slug. Still has to await his first pitch as Edelman checks back to first in time back at the bag is Daneman. Holland grounded out to the first baseman his last time. Swing and a miss, throw down, and Daneman is out at second as Cole Riley nabs him. Trying to Steal the bag there was Daneman and Riley was having none on, none of it. So that'll do it for the Aviators here in the third. Still 3-0 Chillicothe. We move to the fourth here on Prospect League TV.